It'll be the third chapter in the New Testament, uh, the third book in the New Testament scripture, and the 23rd chapter uh, of the Gospel of St. Luke. Thank God for this choir we're doing a magnificent God, worshiping and praising God. Amen. That's what we all should be here for. Amen. Any other reason you make me uncomfortable. Amen. Praise the Lord. Any other reason you quench the Spirit of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're grateful to see all of our family and loved ones here today as well. Amen. In the Gospel of St. Luke, the 23rd chapter, verse uh, number 44. to see his 
this day. Amen. In faith, Abraham knew that when the Christ came, yes. that everything mm. would be all right. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. He understood that when the Christ came, the Christ would take care of the thing that we all fear the most. And that is death. Amen. Amen. That Moses told children of Israel that uh, you can ignore me and disobey me if you want. Yeah. One day the Lord your God going to raise up a prophet yeah. among you. Right. And him, you're going to have to Amen. hear. That still reigns true even Amen. today. We're here because of Jesus, who was the Son of God. Amen. Came down in the flesh, yeah. lived and died, paid the price for your sin, and my sin. Yes, he was put to death, hanged, and crucified on a cross. Amen. Not for any wrong that he had done, Amen. but for the sin of the world. To say it better, he died yeah. so that you and I could live. And sometimes I think we ought to be reminded because yeah. we take sin so lightly. Yeah. You all ain't saying we sin as if though there is and never was Amen. any consequences. Amen. But sin is very serious. Yeah. Bible said that without the, the shedding of blood, oh, yes, there could be no Amen. remission of sin. Amen. In the Old Testament scripture, when man was sin, God made provision where man could bring an animal to yeah. sacrifice yeah. and shed blood to cover up yeah. the man's sin. Yeah. All right. This cover up was just something that allowed God to still tolerate man. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Very because cool. God cannot stand the sight of sin. Amen. 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 Isaiah said, the Lord's hand is not short, that he Amen. cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that he cannot hear, Amen. but your sins and your iniquity Amen. have separated Amen. you Amen. from God. Amen. In the very beginning, when God created man, the uh -huh. Bible said that there was nothing that uh, could come between God Amen. and the man Amen. that he made. Yes, sin crept into the garden. Yes, yes. The moment that sin came into the world, yes, yes. sin was just an act of disobedience. Yes. But it led them down the road of jealousy. Yes. Y'all ain't yes. saying yes. It led immediately yes. to death. Yes. Praise the Lord. Man has been sinning ever Amen. since. Amen. You got to understand, the scripture says, all oh, have sinned Amen. and come short of the glory Amen. of God. Amen. That's not your ticket. That's not your license. That doesn't say that means it's all right to sin. What that says, you're missing the, you're missing the most important part. All oh, have sinned. It caused him to come short of the glory of God. The reason we're not still walking around in the garden, y'all ain't saying that. The reason why we have the labor from the sweat of our brow. The reason why we have hurricanes and tornadoes. The reason why there are problems in our life or in this world is because of sin. So when you say all oh, have sin, yeah. well, all that do sin, uh -huh. there are consequences. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Whatever God's will is for you, uh -huh. whatever God's intentions are for you, yeah. the more you sin, uh -huh. the less you're able to experience Amen. the fullness Amen. Amen. of the blessing that God has for you. Amen. 
you understand that when you tell your child they can't go to the fair because they got bad grades on the report card. Y'all understand that. You understand that when you tell them you're not going to give them an allowance because they misbehave. You understand that. And yet you act as though you don't understand that God withholds from us in the midst of our sins just so that we would be mindful that we're displeasing in his sight. Come on, somebody. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says if we be willing and obedient, we can eat the good of the land. That was conditioned, I said. But he says if you refuse and rebel, then you yourself shall be devoured with your soul. It's God's will that we accept him. Amen. After the Bible says it no longer please God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, blood of bulls and heifers and rams yeah. no longer would suffice. Amen. God said, uh, recognizing what some of us have said, if you want something done right, you gotta right do it yourself. Yeah. Amen. So God himself taking on flesh. Yeah. Taking on the identity of the Son of God. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Came down and lived in this sinful world, Hallelujah. and yet he was without yeah. sin. Hallelujah. Just to show you and I Thank you. how to live. Thank you. To show us that we can, in him, overcome sin. Amen. We can overcome the snares of yeah. the devil. Praise the Lord. Paul says, I would not have you to be ignorant concerning the devices of Satan. Amen. The devil is busy. Yeah. And his job is to keep you separated yeah. from God. Amen. His job is to thwart your faith because he knows that the Amen. scripture says without faith, our heart is impossible. Amen. To please God. Amen. We've got faith, but we use our faith sparingly. You understand that? All right. We want to apply our faith yeah. to what we want to apply yeah. to. You yeah. understand? Thinking don't buy into this name and claim it. I just believe. I know I got that job. Yeah. I know I'm going to get that car. I know I'm going to. But yet we don't have faith enough to trust that his blood still yeah. works. We don't have faith enough to trust that the blood he said on Calvary is enough to save our soul. Have faith enough to believe that even though I myself can't please God, if I accept his son Jesus Christ, I can make it in on the strength of what he did. Y'all understand? I don't have nothing to offer. And I couldn't pay the price. But the Son of God yes, died to pay the price. Hallelujah. And it's incumbent on all of us Hallelujah. to believe on the name Amen. of Jesus, Amen. to believe in the atoning work that he did yes, out on Calvary. Yes, in our text, the Bible says it was about the sixth hour. Yes. And it says there was a darkness. Yes. Over all the eyes all right. until the ninth hour. Right. And I'm talking about darkness mm -hmm. without Jesus. Yeah. Jesus, the one who said, I am the light of the world, yeah. now have done the work that God assigned him. Yeah. He now is getting ready to die on the cross. Yeah. The Bible but said that God used darkness uh -huh. yeah. to represent God's judgment. Oh, yeah. Darkness doesn't always mean just the absence of light. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We use the word to mean that something is gloomy. You understand? All right, all right. You understand when trouble lies ahead. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll say there are some dark days ahead. Yeah. That doesn't mean the 
a son not going to turn. All right. It doesn't mean that the light switch won't come on. All right. What it means is there's some dreary, some gloomy, yeah. some troublesome yeah. days yeah. ahead. Yeah. 